What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Nike Zoom Vimero 5 in the sail and laser orange colorway. So this is an upcoming colorway of the Nike Zoom Vimero 5, which is actually a women's colorway. And at the time that I'm filming this, these have not released in the US or Canada, from what I know at least. And based off of the research that I could find, apparently they're supposed to release sometime in the fall of this year. So the official colorway for this shoe is Sail, Laser Orange, Light Orward Brown, and Medium Olive. And they should retail for a price of 160 US dollars or 210 here in Canada. So the Nike Zoom Vimero 5, while it was originally released as a running shoe, this nowadays is worn much more as a lifestyle, everyday casual use sneaker. And we've been seeing this trend more and more, even across the other brands with, for example, Asics and New Balance 2. So we have models like the Gel KNO 14, the New Balance 2002R, basically these running shoes from the 2000s. Nowadays, people are just wearing these casually, which I'm definitely not going to complain about because these are very comfortable. So jumping straight into the details, this shoe is covered in this base layer of this open style mesh in this sail color. Overlaid on either side, we have these synthetic nubuck overlays which are done in this sail tone. And then surrounding the front toe cap, we have this beige colored synthetic leather with these strips of reflective 3M on either side. Covering the bottom two eyelets, we have more synthetic nubuck which is done in more of a beige color. And then next to this, we have another synthetic leather layer. This is done in more of an off-white color. And on the mid panel of the shoe, we have this rubberized cage, which gives the shoe a little bit more support and structure around this midfoot area. And then stitched on top of this, we have your Nike swoosh. This is done in a combination of the sail color with laser orange on the outer edges. Moving next to this, we have more of that synthetic leather in that off-white tone. And then you can see we have more of that mesh material that we saw on the toe box. This surrounds the upper portion of the heel. And then wrapping around the heel of the sneaker, on the bottom, we have this green colored TPU heel cup, which has this triangular shaped pattern to it, which wraps around both sides. And then above this, we have more synthetic leather with an orange colored swoosh pressed on in the center. As far as the laces go, so these only come with one lace option and they're an oval shaped lace done in this white color. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in that same open style mesh and running down the center of the tongue, we have this green colored woven strip with an orange colored reflective layer running down the center. And then the top of the tongue, this is covered in more of a tightly wound mesh in green, and we have this beige colored tag with Nike Vomero 5 branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is lightly padded and it's covered in this green colored mesh. And then as far as the insoles go, so these come with a very padded styrofoam like foam insole, which is covered in this green colored textile on the top, and we have Bill Bowerman branding, who is the co-founder of Nike, it's pressed onto the heel of the shoe. And this is the same type of insole that we've seen before on models like the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro. So it has a very stiff feel straight out of the box, but the more you wear it, it will mold to your feet and it'll feel more comfortable with time and with wear. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this full length Cushlon foam midsole, which is more of a responsive and lighter weight version of EVA foam. So the midsole is painted primarily in this off-white color, but we have this olive colored hit, which runs along the top portion of the midsole. And then encased within the shoe but not visible to the eye, we have Nike Zoom units underneath the forefoot as well as underneath the heel of the sneaker, which helps with impact protection and to give you more of that springy and bouncy feel. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, keep in mind this is a women's release. So to get your men's equivalent, you'd round up one and a half sizes. So my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, meaning when I step on a Brannock device in a shoe store, I'm actually a size 10. So I got these in a size 11 and a half and they fit me perfectly. There's no pressure points, there's no areas of the shoe that feel snug to me. So I'd recommend sticking true to size and converting to your women's size equivalent. So if you're a men's eight and a half, you'd get a women's size 10, or if you're a men's 11, then get a women's 12 and a half. Next up in terms of the comfort, so these feel like any other Nike Zoom Vimero 5, which in my opinion at least is an extremely comfortable sneaker. This to me is one of my go-tos when I know I'm gonna be on my feet for hours and hours on end, or it's definitely a shoe I'd bring with me if I'm going on vacation. So the Cushlon foam that they use has a very nice soft pillowy feel to it. So if you're someone that likes more of a stiff and firmer cushioning setup, then you might not like the Zoom Vimero 5. It definitely has more of a softer ride underfoot, but because there is Zoom units underneath the heel and the forefoot, it's not gonna be an overly soft and mushy feel. And the upper of the sneaker is extremely lightweight as well, being that it's mostly constructed out of mesh with a lot of synthetic overlays. So it's a very lightweight sneaker on foot as well. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, so if anything, my main complaint about the Zoom Vimero 5 is the use of synthetic materials. Though it makes sense considering this was originally intended to be a performance running shoe, but now that it's more used as a lifestyle shoe, 
I'd be interested to see Nike release a version of the Vimeo 5 using genuine leathers instead of these synthetic layers. So the material quality wasn't great and the build and the craftsmanship on this shoe, I'd say that it was average. There were some areas of the shoe that felt a little bit sloppy, like the paint job, and there were some loose threads that I had to trim down myself, but there were no major issues that I could see. So if you're normally happy with the build of your Zoom Vimeo 5s, then I think you'll feel the same way about this one as well. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet. I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. So I first saw this colorway on some sneaker blog, maybe Sneaker News or Kicks on Fire or something like that, and I was super drawn to the colorway of this shoe. Being that summer is winding down and we're approaching fall, I think this is a very beautiful colorway to wear during the cooler months with these cream, olive, and green tones. It just looks the part for this season. And though I probably own too many colorways of the Zoom Vimeo 5, it's just one of those shoes that I leave by the door, and it's kind of become one of my go-to sneakers for everyday use when I know I want to be comfortable on feet and I don't want to worry too much about getting a shoe dirty or scuffed up, these are definitely one of my go-tos. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about the sale and laser orange colorway of the women's Nike Zoom Vimeo 5? Are you guys a fan of this colorway? Is this something you think you would pick up when they drop who knows when? Or are you not really feeling the colorway or you're just not a fan of the silhouette period? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter or X account at sean.go spelled out, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.